Come on, BJ. Oh. Give it to me. Come oh. on. Come on. Give it to me. Give oh. it to me. It's coming. It's coming. Oh. It's coming. Oh. And that's how you deliver a baby. Ha, ha, ha. Porcelain, you have a question about delivering a baby? God, no. Snuggles and I are applying for membership to the exclusive South Malibu adjacent country club. So, would you say I'm Mayflower White, Lily White, or Ivory White? Maybe I should join that club now that Mama Okra gave me some of her jean. And which shade of white are you? Uh, very white? Anyways, I've got to get ready for the new member dance on Saturday night. You know, Kimberly, the night you stay home and sob. We'll have a good time, and I hope you die soon. There's my little poopy pants! It's my favorite aunt! Gang, say hello to Aunt Jizzy! Nah! Now she give me some sugar. <laughs> oh, Aunt Jizzy, you look different. Well, I should. I lost 1,300 pounds. Well, it shows. Gang, Aunt Jizzy is the woman who raised me. Notch, is there anybody who hasn't raised you? Kimberly, it takes a village. I was also his wet nurse till he was 15 years old. Excuse me? Nothing gave me more pleasure than sitting on Aunt Jizzy's lap and suckling on her big old moo moo nips. Those are the biggest cookies I've ever seen. I baked a batch of Notch's <laughs> favorite. <laughs> Triple deep fried chocolate chip and bacon. Mmm. Oh, it's just like I remember. Only one thing missing. Got some milk? Coming right up. Ah, icy cold. The bus was air conditioned. <laughs> Son of the Beach, starring Jamie Bergman as B.J. Cummings, Roland Kickinger as Chip Rommel, Lila Arcieri as Jamaica St. Croix, Kim Oya as Kimberly Clark, Amy Weber as Porcelain Bidet, with Lou Rosenthal as Spank the Monkey, and introducing Timothy Stack as Notch Johnson, special guest stars Harry Anderson and Gary Coleman. Tonight's episode, Tennessee Ernie Williams, the long, hot Johnson. Not shouldn't you wipe your face? And lose that just-squeezed flavor? Oh, man. Aunt Jizzy, what brings you up from South Malibu adjacent? Something smells rotten down south. Are you feeling less than fresh? No. I bust in some of my congregation from the first AMC churchplex to tell you about it. Now, come on and testify, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hey. Brother Notch, Brother Notch, the people in our community, they're being run out of their homes yeah. in the heat yeah. of the night. Yeah. Yeah. Rousing minorities from their homes and relocating them? What kind of monster would do that? We think it's the work of the clan. Yeah. 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 And we don't mean a Wu-Tang clan. Don't, you we don't, we don't. Are you talking about, about the Ku Klux Klan? Not the CCC. I say we take these racists and turn them into clan chowder. Sieg Heil! Huh? Alleluia! Talk about it, talk about it. Come on. Notch, you've got to do something. Come on, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Brother Notch, we need some help. Brother. Everybody's talking at once. Yeah, this is not a movie theater. Notch, what are we going to do? I didn't march for civil rights in the South for nothing. Nobody's leaving anybody's home. Now join me, won't you, as we sing together the great old spiritual. And we're moving on up. Moving on up to the east side. Moving on up to that deluxe apartment in the sky. Yeah, we're moving on up. Moving on up to the east side. Moving on up. We finally got a piece of the pie! Snuggles, what should I wear to the new members dance at the country club? This says old money. And this says old money, which is a hint of naughty Catholic school. Good choice. Well, you better get going. Wait! You can't take Mr. Papasmiris out of here. He only has three weeks to live. Three weeks? They told me two. Just look at all these beautiful children. <laughs> What's the matter, Aunt Jizzy? I don't want to lose these beautiful children, but I'm being forced out of my home by the bank. It's a foreclosure notice. Are you saying Jizzy's being ejaculated? Notch, this house has been in my family for 140 years. It's almost paid off. This notice is signed by a bull cracker. He's the good old boy that runs the bank, the country club, and the local dentist. Why is he being so mean to me? I nursed his baby. <laughs> oh! Aunt 
Jizzy, were you expecting a break? <laughs> Get out a South Malibu adjacent if y'all know what's good for ya. That note's got clan written all over it. Now, do you think there's a connection? No, but there may be a link. I think I should go to the country club and investigate this bull cracker. Porcelain said there's a new member staying Saturday night. In that case, I'm going with you. Kimberly, you stay here and protect Aunt Jizzy. What about me? I don't know nothing about birthing or babies. Chip, BJ, I want you to investigate the clan. Go poke around the back country. Don't worry, Notch. We'll get the poop on Cracker. But remember, you're going to the bayou, where folks have been inbreeding for generations. So be careful. It's retarded out there. Excuse me, young lady. Good evening. I'm Bull Cracker. This is my club. Honey, come mingle. I'm post on today, and I'd love to see more of your club. I'll show it to you later. There's quite a bit to take in. Remember, the plan is to blend right in. Folks, I understand you're all. It's not every day you see Knox Johnson in the flesh. But please continue to get drunk and embarrass your families. Thank you. Notch Johnson, it is an honor to meet you, sir. My name is Bull Cracker. What brings you to our redneck of the woods? I thought perhaps I'd become a member. I see. Who's your friend? This is my fiance, Jemima St. Croix. Say what? I didn't want to use your real name. Any problem with my mochaccino friend being here? None at all. Come on in and enjoy the segregation. Say what? Come along, Jemima. Oh. Are you crazy? Let one of her kind in here. Simmer down, boys. It's just for one night. Besides, we can't afford to get on the wrong side of Notch Johnson. All this money that we're going to make won't do us any good if we're in jail. <laughs> hey, Byron, look at all this money. Whoa, $100. Ooh, doggy, who'd have thought we'd have got so rich at chasing black folks out of their homes? <laughs> hey, Jordan, you got one of them newfangled limousines. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Halt! Who goes there? This little old us. I'm Ellie Mae. And I'm Chethra. We're from the South, y'all. And we want to raise our youngins here. How do we know you're one of us? We're married. And she's pregnant. Married and pregnant? I don't prove nothing! Wait! We're also brother and sister. Whoa, oh. why didn't you say so? <laughs> Welcome to the bayou. <laughs> Kimberly, you got a real gentle way with babies. Oh, well, maybe I'll have one of my own someday. What about you and Notch? You look mighty fine with a little Johnson inside you. Uh, me and Notch? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Of course, you have to let Aunt Jizzy do the nursing. Poor baby starved to death with them little milk duds. Jamaica, these people can't take their eyes off me. It's like they've never seen a lifeguard before. Uh, Chief, I think it might be because I'm the only black person in this all-white club. Hmm, all-white club. Now you got me hungry. Why don't you go investigate while I grab a sandwich? What it is? <laughs> well, if it isn't Notch Johnson, America's most famous lifeguard. It's the world's most famous lifeguard. And you are? Pussy Willow Cracker. What are you doing here? It's Jamaica. Notch and I are on a stakeout. We suspect Bullcracker of squeezing out Jizzy. I have no idea what you're talking about. But you better not spoil my chances for membership. All my life, I've dreamt of belonging to a country club where rich people drink fancy cocktails, play golf, and cheat on their spouses. And no little lifeguard girl's gonna get in my way. So why did you marry Bullcracker if you didn't love him? One, two, cha-cha-cha. Because Big Daddy wanted me to. God knows if it hadn't been for all those tennis pros, golf pros, and gigolos, I'd be one dried up pussy willow. <gasps> well, tell me about Bull's business. Three, four, cha-cha-cha. Business? All he ever did was squander Big Daddy's money. Now he thinks he's going to strike it rich. 
He's got some crazy idea about buying up all the houses in the poor section of town. Says there's something valuable in the ground. Very interesting. 15, 16, cha, cha, cha. Cherry? Oh, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> You're a real player. We could use a member like you. Would you do me... Yes. ...the honor of dancing with me? Oh, sure. <laughs> that too. Hey, look, it's Porcelain. Hi, Porcelain. One thing about my husband, he likes the ladies. That's how he got his name. It's just like a bull in a vagina shop. You know Notch Johnson? The tall man with the overbite and the weasel on his head? Yes, the man with his hands all over my pussy. I'd give anything to know what he and that Jemima are here for. Well, all I know is that they're investigating you for something. Your chief, we need to talk. Oh, would you excuse me for a moment, Mrs. Cracker? Well, of course. The sides would give me a chance to freshen my breath. <laughs> This is all about uranium. Myanium? But I just had a proctologist look at myanium. No. I snooped around Bull's office. There's a mother load of radioactive uranium under Aunt Jizzy's home. So that's why Bull wanted to evict the black folks from their homes. Yeah. To steal the uranium for himself. So, the question is how... The question is, how long are you two gonna live? Well, what a lovely evening for a moonlight stroll. Sure is. Have a nice walk. You're coming to you, idiot. Now start walking. <laughs> Boy, I wouldn't want to be them. Me neither. What's your reason? Because where they're going, they ain't never coming back. And where would that be? Not that I care. Why should I tell you? Because of these. <laughs> well. Empty. <laughs> that means party time. Spin the bottle. <laughs> oh, this must be my lucky night. Fuck her up, cousin. Wow, I believe you sucked something right out of my teeth. Mm. Pro dad. Okay, your turn, Mr. Jethro Bodine. Come on, sis. Give your little brother a big smooch. Okay. But no tongue. No tongue? What kind of brother and sister don't like no tongue? BJ, you don't go if you blew out a cover. Chip, I've blown a lot of things, but never a cover. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chip, BJ, I thought you were Jethro and Ellie Mae. Vernon, they've been lying to us. I'd be a backwoods bisexual redneck. Now, what are you doing here? I would sooner die than tell you that we're working for Nuts Johnson, who's investigating you and your cuckoo clan. Don't forget about Bullcracker. Bullcracker? He's our boss. Yeah, and he might just give us a big reward if we was to turn them in. Lucky for me, I got one of these newfangled cell phones. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Hey, Malou. Get me bull crap. Sorry, Jizz, I tried to warn you. You should have left while you had the chance. I would never leave. I've raised over 83,000 children in this house. Well, I gotta get back to the club or I'm gonna be late for the bunny hop. A little chilly in here. Why don't you boys warm the place up? <laughs> I think it's time for a little fire sale. <laughs> <laughs> Notch, do something. You folks are doomed. No use crying over spilt milk. Spilled milk? Hey, Aunt Jizzy, got any spilled milk? Coming right up, child. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Jizzy, yeah. Up it, up it all. Fire my lactose intolerance. Ow! Ow! Here's our gun, Burn. Why don't we get shit? Playing oh. food. Pussy Willow! I couldn't stand by any longer watching that lying, cheating husband of mine hurt anybody else. Porcelain, isn't this a little out of character for you? Don't get used to it. It was mostly her idea anyways. Believe it or not, I really like Pussy. Well, 
I have to get back to the club. I don't want to miss the bunny hop. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jizzy. My husband didn't always hate black folk. How could he? He had himself an illegitimate black baby. What? what? <gasps> Are you sure about that? Sure, I'm sure. I breastfed the child myself. Stop your bunny hopping! What are you doing here? We're on to you, Cracker. Just like cheese on a, um, Cracker. No, that's not it. All right, boys, time to give up. Never, sir. My boys and me will fight until the end. I don't think they'll be so quick to follow you once they find out about your illegitimate black child. <gasps> I don't know what she's talking about. These people are crazy. Oh, yeah, Cracker? Allow me to introduce you to your son, Saltine. <gasps> Mama says knock you out. You're two months late on your payments, Daddy. Well, I suppose you got me. I, I guess the resemblance is too much to deny. Sheriff Life Deputy Taylor, take him away. Well, I think we put an end to racial prejudice here once and for all. Black or white, we're all equal in the eyes of God. So let's join together and sing as one that great old spiritual... Well, we're moving on up, moving on up to the east side. That deluxe apartment in the sky. Yeah, we're moving up, on up, 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 up to the east side. Up, we finally got our feet on the pie. I did it. I did it. What? You had sex for free? No, mosquito bites. I got accepted to the South Malibu Adjacent Country Club. Now I'm up where I belong. I am someone. Hate to burst your bubble, but we all got membership from the new president, Pussy Willow. Yeah, we're real tight with Pussy. <laughs> Here comes Jizzy. And it looks like that uranium's giving her a lot of green. Not. I just want to thank you and the SPF 30 for letting me keep my house on back in business. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Jizzy. It's the least I can do for all the calcium and vitamin D you've given me. Speaking of which, Aunt Jizzy, are you sure you should be feeding babies in your new condition? Why? It's only made them bigger and stronger than ever. <laughs> Boy, I wouldn't want to change that diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, Jeans. You caught me with a handful of my own batter. Mmm, a little salty. Notch Johnson here. Tonight's show is about the joys of down-home cooking, which you can read about in my new cookbook entitled Lardy, Lardy, Lardy. Now, many people think that Southern cooking is unhealthy, but it's actually just the opposite. Meet my friend Jared. Now, Jared just recently started eating some of my recipes, like deep-fried lettuce, chocolate-covered ham, and our favorite, butter sticks and gravy. And it saved Jared's life. Let me show you a picture of Jared before he started eating my food. So, Jared, what do you say you and I go chew the fat? Mmm, that's good fat. So until next time, this is Notch Johnson saying, go eat a big one. Extra fatty today. <laughs>